Oh, you mean just overall? Yeah. Uh, doing very well. Look, Pennsylvanians are the most commonsensical people in the world. I've had great faith in them from the very beginning, even in the primary, when we were 45 points down. I always felt the wind was at my back. Everybody in Pennsylvania had the wolf at their door. Mine was my daughter's brain cancer. They're not going to be fooled by some sheep clothing who's trying to take advantage of the rightful concern people have. Look, he put in place these policies that gave us this damage in recession. He doubled the national debt. Now he wants to do more damage. He wants to borrow money and put for Social Security to place into Wall Street. And so enough's enough. And they're going to discriminate and say, wait a moment here. Who's somebody who has a very practical approach to things, help to fix the problems, and now is saying it's about the middle class. Those who want to move into the middle class, the small businesses, giving them the opportunity to expand to prosper. No, the message is getting out clearly. Congressman, why do you think the race has tightened up in the last few days? Common sense in Pennsylvanians, but they also, I'm sorry, I cut you off. Go ahead. But they also, have been able to recognize, while it was pretty easy with Christine O'Donnell to see how extreme she was at first blush, that at first Congressman Toomey can appear reasonable, but he's just as much an extremist in his policies as she is, and that's become clear. They, also, they recognize that, I mean, here's someone who wants to gamble with her Social Security. Here's someone who voted against Medicare. Here's someone who voted against education to go to college four times who said, you know, it's all right that China illegally subsidizes its export. So who actually as a lobbyist took a petition around trying to convince senators not to have tariffs against the illegal dumping of goods. And so that's been clear at the same time as they say, wait a minute, Joe Sestan, years of public service, pretty practical guy. He sees a problem. He tries to work across the aisle. Even Republican Senator Hagel endorsed him. Maybe this is the way, yeah, maybe it is the way that we want to approach the future and not go back to that past where somebody that comes to me makes it more, more extreme in his policies. I, I think the conventional wisdom is that you have to get out the vote in the cities, Philadelphia, and sort of the eastern part of the state. How are you doing on that? Well, you know, this, what do you, what do you think? this summer, as there was uh, five or six million dollars of Wall Street large corporations, Club for Growth, the lobbying firm that Congressman Toomey led, millions of dollars of their ads were being poured in. We opened up, by 1 July, 25 offices, 27,000 phone calls a day. We didn't wring our hands. We have over 15,000 volunteers across Pennsylvania, 3,000 in Philadelphia alone. Today we finish up having gone to 284,000 households twice and dropping off literature. So we're going to do it just like any other campaign. We ran a certain campaign against Senator Specter when I was running against the Democratic establishment, which is the only reason I'm standing here talking to you today, because I bucked my party's leadership when they got it wrong, weren't on the right side of the working family. And we're running a slightly different campaign now by making sure we have a really great field operation as well as the right message. The issues, though, are the same that I approach. Let's do it in a practical way. So we built a great field operation. There was some back and forth in the Pittsburgh debate about gun control and the NRA endorsement from various police endorsements. How important is that in this debate? The issue? Yeah. Well, I think for those who want secure communities, it is important. Look, there's more to gun control or the right of protection, which I very much believe in, of the Second Amendment, that everyone should be able to have a gun, than just saying, as Congressman Toomey did callously, gun control means a steady end. So I want secure communities. So he voted against increases in law enforcement funding. I voted for that. But I also believe that military assault weapons should never be in the hands of a criminal. We decreased their murders, the murders by criminals of all officers, by 20% in the 90s when we prevented military assault weapons from getting there. But look, it's really about secure communities, and that's what I'm most interested in. The Congressman, the Republicans this year really seem to be attacking Democrats on the unemployment numbers, on the 8 million jobs lost during the Bush administration. What's your reaction to all these attack ads on, on where are the jobs? Well, I'm not surprised that Congressman Toomey 
and those who funded him in millions of dollars of salaries and bonuses, like the Club for Growth when he was a lobbyist, are trying to have disguise the truth and are trying to have their own senator down in Washington, D.C. They want their guy in their pocket, a Wall Street senator, someone who believes corporations that are funding his campaign should pay any taxes. So it's pretty, and he's a politician. I mean, he's the typical politician, went to Washington, spent six years in Congress, went through the revolving door, became a lobbyist, got millions of dollars in salaries from these guys, these Wall Street people. Now they're funded and misleading the truth. We know what the facts are. There would have been eight million more fathers and mothers that would have been laid off. Those are tough votes, but that's what leadership is about. It's not about disguising the truth. It's not about trying to benefit, I believe, corporations. It's about how do we help the people. Is there a word for students of Westchester University?